great honor to speak uh, about the mother and be here at the Holy Banks of Ganges. Uh, for me, mother has been everything since the uh, days of the greatest of the sufferings. It was the mother that pulled me up with her loving hand, that showed me the expanded consciousness. So that's uh, one of the reasons why I chose uh, my name to be changed to Devi. <laughs> and that was the birth of new me, uh, the birth of a purpose-bound existence with the inner compass direct, directed to the highest uh, possible achievements of spiritual awakening in this lifetime. So uh, mother journey for me uh, started with Mother Mary, but it was only in India that I discovered all the dimensions of mother. And um, I love mother with all my heart. I love mother's uh, sacred waters. And um, for me, the highest experience of mother's waters was actually the Gauri Kund, which is the lake uh, that the said uh, God Shiva created for his beloved Parvati. I was blessed to go for Kailash Yatra three times. And um, uh, the highlight of my uh, Kailash Yatra experience was the tasting of the water of Gauri Kund. I cannot find the words of that, the taste of that water. So conveniently, the Gauri Kund is like a turquoise colored jewel that's located right after the toughest of the part of the Yatra. So when you climb the Dolma Pass, which is so tough that you literally feel you're never gonna make it. It's, it's a huge effort to climb that high because of the high altitude sickness and the very high vibration. And then when you reach the top, only then the Gauri Kud is further down, <laughs> somewhere down the, the sharp rocks. So only those who really are ready to, to even die going there are told to go there. So I told myself, I can even die now, I don't care, I'm going. <laughs> it's the, it was a strong calling, very strong calling. And uh, I went down and I just held some water. I asked mother for permission and blessing to, to taste it. And that taste still stays with me. I cannot find the words like celestial water. And when you swallow it, you feel this cooling, cleansing sensation goes all the way down. Uh, and then that vertical dimension feels very purified. So as if deep down in the spine, there's like so much more energy and space and everything is washed away. And when I opened my eyes on the rocks, I could see at least 20 uh, faces of sages from God knows which time. I could see their, their images of mainly the beards. I could see their faces and I felt this huge blessing. Then when I started climbing up, after two or three steps, I was like, <gasps> it's like uh, the worst of asthmatic patient, you know? <laughs> it's like very tough to breathe, you cannot breathe. And uh, then certain drizzle started, it was almost like a rain. And I looked up, I really thought I was gonna die there because I, can't, I could not climb further. There was no air in the lungs. And when I looked up and the rain was falling, suddenly <sighs> opened, my chest opened. And then I was flying. <laughs> so the rest of the yatra, I just walked and it was a huge blessing. These are the moments one lives for. When we make that effort and with purest of intention, we do something, but then we realize how small we are, how little, fragile we are with our physical bodies to withstand those higher frequencies we just cannot. We cannot unless that divine hands just grabs us from above and lifts us up. And um, another experience I'd like to share was with Mother Kali. So I always used to feel Mother is this um, loving, kind uh, mother. But I was once in South Africa and there was a puja for Mother Kali and I sat and I listened to the mantras. In one moment there is, I saw her coming like a giant and she held this golden sword and she just went <clears throat> and she stabbed me from my crown to my root chakra I felt this golden sword went <clears throat> through my spine and then she did a bit like mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. <laughs> it's very funny it sounds funny but as if I, she made extra space in the in this <laughs> central axis and then uh, after the experience I could feel my vertical alignment and connection was much better and I really love Mother Kali with the power, the immense uh, glory of hers and that love uh, in her power to remove all negativity and wash us away. So very often in certain transformational processes that we do, I, I invoke Mother and she always comes. So it's a very strong connection, very sacred. Um, and coming back to Mother Ganges, 
uh, I feel that definitely it's not the normal water. I, I know some saint who pours this water in the corners of her room and the ants don't come. Where she puts the water, the ants and bugs, they don't come there. So it's one of the proofs how special this water is since the ancient times. And just being in the energy of Ganges is already a huge, huge experience. So I feel really grateful to have, today I had a beautiful experience at the Samadhi of great Saint Lahiri Mahasaya. And I feel so blessed to be here. It's been an immense experience being with all of you and exactly feeling that convergence, which is right now. It's really beautiful to see how all of us are thirsting for the same and how all of us are guided somewhere, the children of God, to find our way to that highest of experience. So thank you. I feel very blessed. Thank you.